for this training program today. We're gonna to call this training programs and offers for nonprofits and volunteers. And as I saw in the chat room, many different types of nonprofits. So you are in the right place. My name is Aretha Simon. I'm the webinar producer here at TechSoup. I'm gonna move out the way. Before I do, let me show you how you can engage today. You are on mute, which you probably already know. We would love if you would type your questions in the Q&A, but feel free to continue to type in the chat. We have plenty of members here from the TechSoup courses team to answer your questions. This is being recorded. So you're gonna get the recording along with the slides within 48 hours. If you need the closed caption, go ahead and turn on that CC button at the bottom of your screen. And I'm excited to turn this over to Saba, who's going to lead us into the next portion. Have a great webinar, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you, Aretha. Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking the chat time to join us today. Let me begin with a short introduction to our team. We have Gray Harriman, Director of Global Learning Program. Gray has over three decades of experience in learning and leads the learning team at TechSoup. We also have Shuya, who has a PhD in Instructional Systems Technology from Indiana University and has over eight years of experience in instructional design and leads our instructional design team at TechSoup. And me, Sama Merchant, leading operations and managing support for our learners globally. And I've been in learning and development at uh, various nonprofits in different roles for close to 13 years now. Uh, let's take a quick look at our agenda. Uh, after introducing you to the TechSoup courses program, we will dive into various formats and show you a couple of examples of our courses. And we are very excited to share with you all about our newly launched courses and also the ones that are upcoming very, very soon. Uh, and we'll also share some information around how we can help your organization with uh, group enrollments and special offers. And before we let you go at the end of the hour, we do have a special offer for uh, each of you that has taken the time to join us today. So with that, let me hand it over to Gray to now take us further. Gray, you are on mute. Thank you for that. Uh, yes, I you know great to be here with you. Now we're going to give you a little bit of introduction to you know the TechSoup courses program, and so if we can go to the next slide. We'll start with telling you, who's driving the slides? Okay, there we go. Telling you um, about you know, our aim, which is you know, to uh, train your nonprofit uh, staff and volunteers uh, to help your organization become digitally transformed and resilient uh, so that you can be uh, more efficient, increase you know, your impact and, and, and carry out your mission. So that's, you know, our, our aim. And in doing so, we, you know, provide a, any number of our courses uh, that can support this. Um, I think, you know, the um, text of courses, yes, you can go to the next slide, has grown significantly and, and you know, it started in 2017. Uh, and uh, it grew, but grew slowly until, you know, uh, probably 2019, 2020. Uh, when it really took off. Um, so, you know, I think I, I joined TechSoup in, in 2019 and we had, uh, you know, a few courses uh, and, um, and we have, I think about 5,000 learners at that point. Uh, you can see the numbers now, you know, we have, you know, over 200 courses um, and that does not include all the translations to different languages. Uh, and, uh, and we have about 80,000 learners. So what happened? Uh, well, several things. Number one, uh, it's uh, I think the organizations that uh, were uh, starting to consider uh, you know going digital in in 2017 all of a sudden woke up to to the, a new reality, especially after COVID. And COVID had also you know influenced you know the, the number of people that enrolled into courses once they they had to start uh, working remotely. Uh, so that's part of the growth. But uh, one important thing is that I think a lot of nonprofits are realizing that they need to be more resilient, you know, it's, uh, especially, you know, those that are in vulnerable areas. If you're in a 
hurricane-prone area, for example, in, in, and you didn't uh, put things in the cloud, and all of a sudden your computers you know, go floating down, you know, the river, you know, in a hurricane, you 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 know, you you lose your nonprofit when you it's most needed, right? So people are you know, trying to refocus, trying to see what they do. Also taking advantage of social media and, and learning how to do email marketing and fundraising, all those things which are really important. And we provide courses in those areas. So that's what's driven this growth and we don't expect it to, to go away. I think we are here to stay and, and provide more for you. So let's go into the next slide. And we're going to have a little poll about your the format of training that uh, you uh, you might uh, currently use. So I'll let uh, Shuya drive uh, this little poll. Okay, that's great. So we are curious to know what type or what format of training are you currently using. So the, you have three ways to participate in the poll. Uh, you can either go to the direct link that we are going to share very soon in the chat, or you can go to menti.com and type in the code 74954437, or you can just uh, scan this QR code on the right side with your cell phone and it will take you to the voting page. Uh, so, uh, oh, sorry. Um, uh, I think uh, my colleague Han can help me put in the voting link in the chat too. I'll give you a, a little bit more time before I show the results. Okay, we have results coming in. Uh, so a lot of you are using self-paced e-learning, either videos or e-learning modules that you can take at your own time. And uh, quite some of you um, attend instructor-led online training too. And still in-person training is also uh, not, um, has not disappeared. <laughs> um, we, we have people attending in-person training too. And some other um, options um, for those of you who um, voted other, do you mind share, sharing sharing uh, what's the other format you are using in the chat. Ah, okay, combination of all uh, three, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are well, they, plenty of options. Yeah. The, these results are very typical, uh, I think, nowadays. Uh, if it had been 10, 15 years ago, you would have had <clears throat> the reverse where most people would have been in in-person training. So, you know, that that tells you, shows you clearly the trend as to how things have, have changed. Yeah. So, let's go into the next slide. Yes. So, as, as you can see, you know, different people, you know, like a different, you know, formats for the training. And at DexSoup, we have a variety of, of learning formats. Uh, we do have uh, live uh, online events, and you know they come in a number of flavors. Uh, we have you know what we call Ask the Experts or expert-led Q and A, uh, so that uh, you know it's one hour of you know instructors uh, that uh, you know lend themselves to you know answer your questions or experts to answer your questions in in a topic. Uh, there's regular seminars and, of course, webinars as well. Uh, the I think the the, uh, the expert-led Q and A is, is always very interesting because you know you you get to answer your questions and if uh, if there's too many questions we we do um, provide them after after the event as well. Uh, the on-demand training that's you know uh, you know we have a lot of uh, basic to advanced courses and. Uh, and they are really high quality, and I'll mention that a little bit, you know, on, on, on that because we have done special evaluations, which we want to review today, uh, that uh, measure, you know, what the learning effectiveness was over time, uh, which means that, you know, you know, it's not just an evaluation at the end of the course to find out if you learned the content of the course. We do that, it's included, 
but we also you know do follow-ups six months to a year later and see you know uh, you know how much of the learning you've retained are you using it in your um, work with the nonprofits and, and uh, how is the you know nonprofit organization being effective and, and we've been highly effective on on that so it's it's quality learning we have uh, learning tracks and I'll talk more about that uh, in, in a little bit which are groupings of courses and I'll, I'll bring that up uh, workshops we we we've done a number of workshops as well um, so that uh, if, if that's the format that you prefer uh, we, we do have uh, those, those formats micro learnings you know videos guides manuals you know we, we also offer those and finally the blended uh, programs sometimes people say what is a branded pro program because they might hear about you know a hybrid programs though that's the same thing which means part of it is online part of it is live uh, and uh, you, know, you work with a cohort or a group of learners which move through a, a number of weeks uh, in tackling a specific topic or project uh, together. So we have those uh, formats for you in textbook learning. So uh, let's go into the next slide. As you can see, we cover a lot of topic areas uh, going from tech planning to and digital transformation well, in, on one end to to data reporting and data you know, awareness and visualization on, on the other in almost everything in between, you know, whether it's uh, email marketing, social media marketing, cybersecurity, which is increasingly important for you to protect yourself and, and your organization. Uh, we, we have all that available for you as individual courses and then I'll, I'll talk about the tracks but you know the, the, you know we have a large number of, of course or courses that you can see if you go to our online catalog and uh, you know just uh, depending on you know, what your role and your organization is you can pick individual courses or as we go into the next slide um, you can pick groupings of courses which we call tracks in this case, we have a, a track with, with only two courses as an example. And if you go into the catalog, you're gonna see how long it would take for you to, to do the course. In this case, two to three hours, you'll see a little description. You'll see which courses you know, are um, involved. If you want to look into those course descriptions, you can click and, and see them as well. So the advantage of this is that when you go and take a track, uh, not only you have all the relevant courses to that particular topic grouped together, but you also, you know, get them uh, each course, you know, at, at a discount because uh, it, the, the, the tracks are usually discounted. So let's look at uh, some other tracks here. We have, for example, in Excel, there's a large number of, of these courses. You can really get very proficient at Excel. It's an incredibly successful course uh, track for us. Uh, we have. Uh, many many you know learners you know i think the last time i looked it was over sixteen thousand learners in, in uh in excel courses so uh, you can you know see the, the effectiveness of that and the, the, the quality that people like and they go through all these courses grant writing is another example of a track uh you can get it you know highly discounted as well you know by buying all the courses uh, as a track instead of buying them individually so how do we create the courses and you know and you know, all that is uh, something that i'm going to pass on to shuya to give examples and talk about okay thanks gray now let's get a closer look at um, the course formats and the experience um, so as gray mentioned our course our instructional design focus on um, making the behavior change that um, result from the learning uh, that means we not only want you to remember what you learned, the knowledge you learned from the course, but also be able to apply what you learned to actually uh, to your actual work. So uh, to achieve that, we are following a process called EDI, which starts from the analysis of our learners. Who are your needs on this topic area and uh, what are your common challenges? So based on the analysis, we then do the design of what strategies to use, what materials to include, uh, what activ activities to accompany those uh, content. 
and also how we will measure the outcome in the end. So then we develop all the assets and build the course and then launch the course to the learners. And um, it ends with an evaluation that we uh, get feedback from learners about how the course uh, was for them, what went well and what didn't. Uh, so I said end, but it's not, a, a, not really an end to the whole process. This is a whole iterative process. We use the feedback to uh, make updates to the course. So it's, um, uh, it, it will be improved and uh, better serve our learners' needs. And um, also with that aim of providing uh, long-term benefits, we uh, sometimes do um, another, uh, other than all the standard course evaluation we do uh, at the end, uh, we also do a Kirkpatrick evaluation on selected courses to further look at how the behavior change, how the impact has been after months um, after the course has finished, so we can uh, better understand uh, whether we achieved our goals and what we can do better to improve that. And please allow me to highlight two of the formats, two of the most popular formats that Gray has mentioned just now. The first type is the on-demand courses we're offering that people can take at your own time, at your own pace. And it usually you will go through some videos or interactive presentations to get the content. And we also provide scenarios or case studies uh, with the content so you can see how those knowledge and skills are better um, applied in the actual work. Uh, we also use knowledge check quizzes for each module so you can get an understanding or you can get an idea of how much you have learned. And of course, uh, at practice activities too, if you want to apply the things um, into, um, your uh, into, the, into the work. Um, we also have progress track in the course. So you will remember, uh, like you don't have to take the course uh, at once. You can pause in between. And when you come back, you can see a green check mark showing you what you have already completed and what have not. Uh, and the end, at the end of the course, if you need to get a certificate of completion, you can get that. For example, you may want to show your um, employer that you have finished the training that they sponsored. Um, so this is uh, type one. And the other type, uh, of course, that's very popular is the blended learning courses. You very often will find it marked with um, 301 or other 300 level courses numbers on our catalog. It is usually a four to eight weeks learning program. Uh, more typical length is six weeks. It's composed of instructor-led online live sessions and also other on-demand learning content. We usually, usually design these courses with a project in mind. So people will uh, complete a big project throughout the course and it's usually break down into smaller tasks for each week. So you complete some steps each week. And at the end, you'll have a tangible project that you can take to implement in your organization. And uh, to help you with that practice and tasks, we provide worksheets and handouts so you can download and uh, fill out on your own. Uh, that makes the action a bit more easier. And for these types of courses, we work very closely with the experts that have a lot of nonprofit experience and also a lot of online teaching experience. So they will share their best practices with you and also be providing feedback to learners work and questions uh, during the course. There is a discussion forum dedicated for this type of course. Uh, uh, learners can share their work in the forum. So for other people or the expert to uh, provide feedback, there might be also other discussion questions so that you can share more of your ideas or experiences on the given topic um, with the community of all non other nonprofit peers. You will network and share your um, ideas and learn from each other. And I would like to show you a few um, examples of these two types of courses. Please allow me to pull in my browser window. 
the first example is a series of uh, two courses on project management basics for nonprofit, and this is an on-demand course type. So um, after people register in the course, you can go come into this course session uh, to get an overview of what this course is about, what you are going to learn, and uh, you can take a self-assessment before take before going through any content just to see how much you already know about this topic. Um, so you can see we developed this series of courses with our internal subject matter expert, uh, John Tumor and Gray, who is here uh, with um, many years of nonprofit project management experiences. So you will go through some interactive presentations in this course. For example, the first one is a little scenario. Your nonprofit just had a meeting focusing on needed growth, and you emerged with an assignment to increase membership by 30% in the next four months. To do so, you know you have to increase visibility among those sympathetic to your cause and reach them with offers that excite them. You know you'll need to help to carry out the task of producing the offers and to make interested individuals aware of the offer. This is important to your nonprofit, and it's also very ambitious. This project might also determine the future of the organization. Given the above, you must decide how to proceed with your project. In the following scenes, you'll be presented with options. Choose the ones that you feel will help you achieve your objectives. Okay, so um, after going through the uh, scenario, hopefully you'll get to know what project man management can help you achieve. And then uh, in other modules, you also go through, through similar interactive presentations to know what is a project and what is project management. And this overview 100 level course is more at, at a basic and overview level. So you'll uh, have some check your understanding quizzes to see how much knowledge you have remembered from the learning of this module. And in the next course of this series, um, uh, project Management Basics 201, it's talking about the first step of project management process that has been described in a one-on-one course. This is a little bit more hands-on than the one-on-one course. So um, after you get an overview, go through some presentations on the content, you'll also get some examples and worksheets to actually start defining your own project. Uh, of course, you'll have quiz to uh, check your knowledge too for each module. So these are all the modules um, you'll take. Uh, you, you will navigate using the back and next arrow. And uh, if I completed this presentation, I just mark complete and it will give you a green check mark here so you know this sub module you have already completed. And after everything is finished, um, you will um, go through the wrap up message. We also provided a checklist for you to download uh, so you can bring or you can use whenever you need it and we collect your feedback on the course. You also get a chance to evaluate yourself again of how much knowledge you learned from course to compare with the pre-assessment you did to see um, what's the improvement here. And you can uh, download the certificate uh, from the link at the top of this page here. So this is example one. And example two is another uh, on-demand course, uh, which has recently launched. It's the Adobe InDesign course, teaching you how to use InDesign for your nonprofit projects. This course, um, we use more of the format of videos and practice files, as this is a software-based course. So you'll see similar information here in the welcome module. And um, we will also describe 
why you can choose, why you should choose InDesign for some of your projects and what you can do with it. And there's also an overview of all the projects you are going to complete alongside the content of this course. So you're going to create a uh, postcard mailer, a trifold brochure, and an annual report or a magazine in a PDF format using InDesign. And oh, the last project is an interactive or fillable form PDF that you can also create in InDesign. So after the introduction, you're going to um, go through all the modules and all the steps of how to uh, operate in the software and create these projects. This is our instructor, uh, Kara, who is very experienced Adobe software trainer. Um, and as you can see, we have videos showing you the content and you can download the course file from the link below each video. So you can follow along all the steps uh, um, on your computer. Uh, the other formats are, uh, the, the other structure is similar. Go through all the modules, uh, take the evaluation. And uh, another great thing is uh, the downloads and resources are all aggregated uh, in this module for you to download if you don't want to uh, go through each of the links there. So this is example two of the on-demand course. And the, Third example I, don't sh I want to show you is a blended learning course, a 301 course. Um, that's, uh, this is uh, on the topic of website management, which we uh, had delivered uh, in 2021. And just FYI, FYI we have uh, the same course being offered in next month. We renamed that to nonprofit strategies uh, nonprofit website strategies to better represent the focus and content of the course. So in this course, the welcome module is similar. You get an overview, you complete self-assessment, and uh, our expert also provide a wellness report for your website that you can go to and get a report before the first session. So you, this is uh, like a baseline assessment for your current status quo, status quo of your website. So after you go through the course, you can see how much has been improved. And there's also a link to the forum thread where learners can introduce yourselves and get to know the other fellow learners. Fellow learners. So for each week, Learners will uh, sometimes have some pre-session learning to complete, for example, some online uh, videos or articles to read about. And if it's a live course, you will see an orange button here saying, click here to join the live session. Uh, and after the live session, the recordings will be uploaded to this page, the same page, you'll be able to watch the recording, download the transcripts and uh, the presentation deck that has been used. And for each week, we have the activities for you to complete. So some of those is a PDF that you can download to work on, or sometimes we make that into um, a form or something you can complete directly on the LMS page. And we also have other discussion topic for people to share their thoughts in the forum. So for this course, um, the focus is how to improve the website with a growth-driven strategy to attract more visitors uh, and convert more uh, the, convert the right visitors, increase your domain, no, donations, volunteers, sponsorships and um, some other goals. So breaking down into each week, 
there is an intro and review of best practices. And each week following that is going to be one aspect of the website technology that you can do to improve your website. And at the end, you'll get a list of updates you want to take to implement onto your own website. Okay. So I have gone through all the examples and our formats. And before handing over to Saba, I want to see if you have any questions about the course format. If not, then uh, Saba is going to talk about newly launched courses with you. Take it away, Saba. Thank you, Shuya. Uh, I'm excited to share about our newly launched courses. And before I get into that, I do want to address some questions that we had in our chat regarding pricing. So uh, we do have many free courses on our catalog that we offer. And in addition to, uh, you know, in, in addition, we also have special offers which we uh, send out twice a month. And these are for existing learners that are already on our platform. Uh, our courses, of course, are priced between $10 to $350. So we do absolutely consider cases in which discounts are needed. If you do have specific needs or if you have questions regarding that, please email us at Learn at TechSoup and we will do our best to help you. Um, moving on to our newly launched courses. Um, if you can, uh, if you can go ahead and yeah, thank you, Shuya. So uh, as Shuya was sharing, she uh, did share a little about our Adobe uh, course. So here is an example of what the course outline looks like and what the learning modules uh, would include in our Adobe InDesign to uh, 200 level course. We have also newly launched our Introduction to Leading in the Digital Age course. This is much shorter. It's a 100-level course, so it's it's about an hour or so. Uh, and uh, here is the outline on what this course would cover. Very interesting nuggets of information around digital transformation. Uh, as a leader, what role you would be playing into leading your organization into di digital transformation, and how do you... Uh, lead not only people but teams and make a concrete plan around that and then of course we have the wrap up uh, session as well if you can go to the next slide we have two other uh, adobe courses as well uh, that we've launched which is on adobe premiere rush and adobe photoshop uh, both of these as you can see in the learning objectives uh, of course concentrate on uh, the product which is uh, the adobe product premiere rush or photoshop but it's mostly around um, uh, familiarizing you with how to use it how do you use for example simple animation or uh, color grading for uh, through premiere rush or for that matter in photoshop how do you make basic adjust adjustments to um, contrast and exposure and how do you apply uh, color edits and you know correctly save images for different outputs so these are our four newest courses that we have recently launched which are live on our catalog now coming to the exciting part which is our upcoming courses so on 9th of march we have a live event which is going to be held for an hour. And the topic is the top three factors for a successful nonprofit website. Uh, this is a free event. So we encourage you to join. It gives you um, time to interact with our subject matter experts and really understand the fundamentals of what goes into a nonprofit website. How do you incorporate changes or consider things for successful factors in not only uh, times when you're making a new website, but also in your current exists in your existing website. Uh, and then we will talk a little about all the methodologies and structures that you need or should be using uh, when you're making adjustments to your website. So uh, because this is uh, this is a free event, uh, this is a one hour session. So we leave five or 10 minutes at the start uh, to just introduce you to the topic. 
uh, and then uh, after well not five or ten it's a little more than uh, more than that was half of that and then towards the end we leave time for question and answers for you to ask to the experts uh, live uh, and of course this session will be recorded so in case you register and for some reason are not able to attend uh, there will be a recording available for you to watch later on so we encourage you to uh, go ahead and register for this uh, which is happening on 9th March at 11 a.m pacific time uh, I'd like to then uh, also talk about another upcoming course which starts uh, next week, which is uh, on cybersecurity and data privacy for nonprofits. This is a blended program. It is uh, six weeks long, and we have uh, over 50 nonprofit staff uh, that are going to come together uh, in this cohort to learn the fundamentals about data privacy and cybersecurity practices from our experts from Roundtable Technology. And uh, you will leave this six week, uh, at the end of six week, you will leave with a roadmap that you have for your organization that you've worked upon during these six weeks on what the cybersecurity posture of your organization should be, what your data privacy practices should be, and how, uh, do, you, how, how do you take calculated risks that are more sustainable for your organization. For this course, um, it's a six-week course. This is uh, uh, priced at $350. We are currently running $100 off as a promotion, especially for you today. So if you are interested in this course, please use Cyber 100 Web uh, at checkout to get $100 off uh, when you register for this course. Uh, and moving on to the next one, uh, we have another course which is starting on nonprofit website strategy. So after you kind of uh, experience the one hour session, you will see how this particular course, nonprofit website strategy, which is also a blended learning course spread over six weeks, uh, uh, takes you through uh, a plan and gives you sort of an understanding of the basic concepts that you need to strategize on how you build a growth-driven website, what is uh, important to put in terms of nonprofit, uh, you know, what your nonprofit is doing or hi highlight all of that. How do you set goals? How do you track, uh, you know, um, uh, visitor data that is, uh, you know, coming, the traffic that's uh, coming onto your website? And, uh, you know, just uh, come up with uh, sort of a plan if there are any changes that you want to make on your current website and what are the most successful factors in uh, designing a nonprofit website that get maximizes donations and support, etc. So again, uh, this is starting on April 5th. Uh, it is priced at $350, but we are running a $100 off uh, promotion, especially for you. So this is on... Um, please use our discount code at website, uh, which is 100 website at checkout. And um, I will pause here just to see if there are any questions in chat. Uh, I think my colleague Mona is already answering them. So thank you for that, uh, Mona. Um, I want to move on to the next slide. Um, we have many courses that we are coming up with besides these uh, three that are happening in the near future that I mentioned. Some of our courses are uh, around AI for good, uh, which uh, AI for good, project management, tech strategy. These three are the six week blended uh, courses that, we, uh, that is uh, happening later this year. Other than this, we have courses around um, two Adobe products, which is Adobe Express and uh, Illustrator. We also have an introduction to data awareness course, uh, which is a hundred level course coming up. And we have a branding's basic uh, course coming up as well. I'm just gonna quickly peek into chat. Um, we do have a question around uh, the price list and discount codes available. We will send out uh, this presentation and it will include all the links for you. 
And uh, just in case you have any questions related to that, please remember you can email us at learnertechsoup.org. Okay, moving on to our next slide, uh, I want to take a moment uh, to talk a little about our group enrollments. So we uh, we mentioned that a little earlier, we, we will be happy to help your organization with enrolling multiple staff or volunteers for uh, any of our courses. And uh, a, a big reason why I think you should consider group enrollments is a, of course, if you know we do have an organization with five or more staff, there is a separate group rate that is uh, given to you, which is lower than what you will see on our catalog. Uh, all of your staff or volunteers do have the flexibility of taking uh, whichever course that they think or you think they need training in. So our course catalog, as we mentioned, has over 200 courses to choose from. So definitely plenty of variety across many topics. Um, and you could have, you know, many people from your organization participating at the same time in these courses. Uh, we also offer, as we mentioned earlier, the convenience of taking these courses at your own time and at your own pace. Uh, and sometimes uh, what happens is organizations come to us with a particular training need that they have uh, for their organization or training goal that they have. And we're able to meet that uh, by, you know, pulling together various, a combination of various courses that we might suggest, um, you know, for development. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned, we do have a variety of courses, over 200 courses to choose from. And then at the end of each course, uh, there is a certificate of completion given. So, for example, if um, one might consider that you are, uh, you know, uh, serving as the training manager for your nonprofit organization and you have a plan in place, uh, you can then ask your employees to take our courses and uh, share the certificate of completion at the end of the course so you know that everyone's taken the course and you have an understanding of the topics that they have uh, chosen to take courses on. And then maybe you can even ask them to share the learnings that they've learned. So um, with group discounts, as I mentioned, with group enrollments, we do have many organizations that we have assisted uh, we have actually over 70 organizations with, uh, I want to say, about over 400 staff and volunteers globally that we have, uh, you know, helped through our group enrollments. And we highly encourage you to uh, make the most of this uh, opportunity. Email us uh, and then we can actually even set up a call to walk. Uh, through, you know, what your needs are and maybe uh, suggest some courses that might work best for your organization. I want to move on to the next uh, slide and talk to you a little about special offers. So at the top, if you can see our link uh, to the catalog is mentioned here. And when you scroll in there, you come up on this page, which is the special offers tab. Under special offers, you have, uh, you know, um, the upcoming courses that we have and any discounts that we are running. This will, uh, the special offers tab will show you that. Other than, other than the discounts that you see here, every learner that is registered on our platform, we send out a special discount uh, code, uh, which is done twice a month. So if you are registered on our platform, uh, you will be receiving an email from us every other week uh, with discounts that are valid only for uh, for you. So uh, as of now, you can see the three upcoming courses that we have and uh, the ones that we have planned later in the year, you are welcome to come back to the special offers tab and take a look at uh, which are the upcoming live events or any seminars or blended learning courses uh, uh, that we have, or even tracks of courses sometimes that we offer discounts on. Um, I, I think um, that is all that I have to uh, share in terms of special offers. And I know we have a couple of minutes. So before I go ahead and share with you our uh, special discount for everyone that's coming here, I want to take a minute and just review our chat and see if we have any unanswered questions. Please use the chat or the Q&A section to answer any, uh, to ask us any questions. Uh, 
So uh, I do want to clarify a quick thing. I know uh, we have a large audience that has joined us today. Many of you that are TechSoup members and many of you that are not TechSoup members as well. And it's very important for you to know that um, to take any of these courses that we are talking about today, uh, all that you need is an email address. If you are a nonprofit staff or volunteer and have an email address, you can take a course. You, there is no membership or there is no eligibility or validation criteria as such. So anyone, uh, if all you need to do is simply log on to our uh, platform, which is uh, shared here up on screen, techsoup.course.tc. Register, log in, sign up as a new member, and uh, you can begin taking a training course. Um, and for uh, one other mention I want to make is if you are a TechSoup member, please know that the TechSoup courses account is different from a TechSoup member account. So any staff or volunteer can get a TechSoup courses account for free by signing up on uh, our platform. And you don't need to uh, you don't need to be a TechSoup member for doing that. Um, so I saw one question from Margaret regarding uh, registered on our platform, and I I think Mona, my colleague, clarified. So our TechSoup courses account, uh, as we mentioned, is different from from the membership account that you hold at, at uh, TechSoup courses and any staff or volunteer can take it. I think we've shared the link um, in our chat of where you need to go in and create an account so that you can view the catalog of offerings of our courses that we have. Um, I'm just gonna take a peek at the Q&A. Uh, Libby, I think you had a question around the special offers. So in, in what you see under special offers is when you click inside under the view details, you'll see a discount code. Uh, now, this is for anyone coming and wanting to take a course. But every other week, as I mentioned, if you have come on onto our platform and registered as a learner, via email, we will send you a, a newsletter. And that newsletter has discounts which are only for people that have registered on the platform which may or which will be different from the ones that you see here so that's how it is shared um i don't think i have any other open questions at this time so um we can uh, yeah i don't see any other open questions at this time so let me wrap up here uh and um I want to share a special offer that we have. I know we've talked a lot about your um, about our Adobe courses, and we are very proud of these courses because not only are these uh, extremely new courses that we have, we've, we've kept in mind, of course, our learning methodology, but we have an absolutely excellent subject matter expert, Kara Plekanik, who has deep experience in using Adobe. Uh, for nonprofits, and we encourage you to uh, go ahead and take a look at these courses and uh, and you know enroll in these courses. We have a special offer which is a ten percent off on the th on the most new Adobe courses that we have. Please use our promo code Adobe Ten Web at checkout and take advantage of this discount to get a ten percent off uh, for our Adobe courses. I think, um, let me take a quick look in our chat. Um, uh, Saba, there's a lot of questions about where to find the discount coupon in the catalog. So if you could, um, I think especially about the cybersecurity course. So if you could sh show your screen so everyone can see where we put the coupon um, code in the catalog. Uh, I think there's a lot of questions about that. Thank you. Um, let me go ahead and share my screen. Just give me a quick minute here. Sorry about this. Um,
sorry, my uh, laptop is running a little slow, so I'm just trying to pull up the screen. Just bear with me for a moment. Okay, I think I have it here. Let me share my screen. Uh, so here is our special offers and events. And as I mentioned, under cybersecurity right now, this is running at full price. Only for you, we have $100 off. That code we will send to you via email. But for example, if you were to go under nonprofit website strategy, the early bird offers mentioned here. So there is a discount running and then you can use this code. Uh, for checking out whatever our various offers are. Other than that, to log into the platform, um, you need to use this um, uh, web, web link and simply go on to sign up. When you go on to sign up, uh, it'll take you, it'll drive you to a page which is prompting you to create an account. And once you do that and you sign up, it'll take you back to the catalog page where you can choose which course you'd like to register for um, and browse through our catalog uh, and, you know, choose a course and proceed and done. Um, do we have any, let me check. I do see things popping up in the chat. Uh, thank you, Mona, for sharing the link to our catalog and where to sign up for our courses. I think, um, I, I don't think we have any other questions, but if you do, please put them in our Q&A section or in chat. If you do uh, want to reach out to us, please email us at learn at techsoup.org. We will be happy to assist you. Our courses are uh, available to a global audience. So in case you have uh, volunteers and staff members based anywhere else, besides North America, we do have courses available to them. We also offer courses in various languages like Spanish and French and Portuguese and Arabic uh, and Romanian. Uh, so if you do have uh, staff and volunteers based in other countries uh, that uh, speak different languages, uh, we have courses in these languages as well. So please email us at learn at TechSoup and we will be happy to assist you. Um, thank you everyone for joining. I think uh, we will follow up uh, as promised uh, via email, which will bear a copy of this presentation, which will have all the links to the discounts as well. And of course, if you have any questions, email us at learnatechsoup.org. Thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Bye-bye.